patients, please remain in your rooms and use call buttons if you need medical assistance. Please remain calm and wait for hospital personnel to come. What now? Truth or dare? Oh, no, you don't want to mess with me. Truth or dare queen in Newton North. I was kidding. I'm sure we can find something interesting to talk about without relying on some juvenile game. Sure. <laughs> Truth. Truth. All right. Have you ever had a threesome? No. You haven't? But just, just because I'm bisexual. Well, uh, yeah. Do you understand what bisexual means? It doesn't mean you have sex with two people at once. And uh, by the uh, way, you uh, didn't ask me if I'd had a foursome. Truth or dare? Wait, you've had a foursome? No, but now you've asked me two questions, so I get to ask you two. You see why I was the queen. Oh. Truth. How did your dad react when you came out to him? He made me tea. Seriously, doesn't matter what I tell him. He smiles, tells me he supports me, and makes me some peppermint tea. Truth or dare? Um, truth. Are you dating anyone? Now? No. Interesting. You added a modifier. Truth. Um, when you were dating Foreman... No, no, no. What? If it was something personal about him or us, I just don't think that's right to answer. We all work together. That's the whole point of this game, something personal, preferably embarrassing. Just pick something else. You see, this is your problem. You act like you're so liberal and open, but you are the uh, least... Change my mind, dare. Just no nudity. Yes, nudity. I want you to show your breasts to Taub. That is the most idiotic dare ever. Have you ever played this game? Well, I... I thought showing me your breasts would be a little exploitative. Your dare I... is in the future, genius. Hey, if you're saying you won't do it. No, 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 no. Of course I'll show my breasts to Taub. Uh, tomorrow, perhaps, or maybe sometime next year. You know, because I'm honor bound. Truth or dare? Truth. You said you weren't dating anyone now. Does that mean you recently were or soon will be? Oh, look who's guarded now. You had no problem talking about your sex life, but your love life. Fine, there it is. No nudity, now or in the future. You're too much of a nice boy, Wilson. Let's let the bad boy out for a bit. You have to go steal one dollar right now. From who? Oh, come on. Hey, Dar Dario. Dr. Wilson? Could you cook me up a chicken sandwich? Girl's closed. It's important medically. Dr. Hadley needs a high protein meal right now. She doesn't like to talk about it, but she has hypoproteinemia. We got chicken salad? Yeah, that's cold. She needs to eat warm protein for this disease? Well, we could give her cold protein, whose uptake enzymes haven't been activated, as long as you don't mind her risking liver and kidney failure and eventual death. But hey, it's worth it, so you don't have to flip on the grill. You don't have to be obnoxious about it. Sorry. It's not your fault. No, I didn't even play fair. You asked me how my dad reacted when I told him I was bisexual and the Huntingtons. No tea party? I never told him. He's been through enough. So he just visits his heterosexual healthy daughter and you go out to dinner and a movie and talk about your garden? I work late. 
He's staying at my house. It's easier if I stay elsewhere as much as I can. You can't suppress your life for his convenience. You don't see a little irony in that? That's exactly what you do for house. I mean, he moved in with you. You bought a bigger place for him. No wonder you're not dating anyone. You're right. That woman, the woman I'm not involved with, her name is Sam Carr, but in 1990 and 1991, it was Sam Wilson. Your ex-wife? No, my mother. Yes, my ex-wife. Ex number one. She friended me a few weeks ago. We started emailing. It turns out she's recently divorced, and I wanted to ask her out. You can't take a woman to dinner or else House will go running straight back to the loony bin? You're not worried about House, you're worried about yourself. Because she's an ex, so even dinner will mean it's immediately serious. I just asked Sam to dinner. Little baby's all grown up. You gonna tell your dad? No, yeah, I'll stop by his hotel, talk to him. Hotel? You said he was staying at your apartment. Was there any truth in anything you said? The part about it being a good idea for you to call Sam. That was true. Good night, Remy. Good night, James. Code 7 has been lifted.